Before you guys got here, I was watching crazy shit on TikTok. There's a thing called knuckle racing. Knuckle racing. You lay, you like go down like a push up, but you're on your knuckles, and you just hop until the furthest you can. Your knuckles hurt. I'm sure it fucking hella hurts. Or do you wear gloves? No, no gloves. You just lay down like a push up, and you knuckle race. That sounds like you just get bruises in your third pump. I don't know. Whoever gets the furthest. If you have like gloves on then it sounds quit. like a legitimate race whoever gets the furthest wins until they quit yep really yep this guy went around like a whole fucking basketball court and got to the other side and he tapped out but yeah see it's an easy podcast we just talk right yeah yeah you could relax totally. and chill yeah, unless like you're comfortable chill. like that i relax i hang out i'm relaxed <laughs> mackenzie mace good? in the house exciting <laughs> oh my god, you guys are making I'm me I'm freaking out nervous. for you. I'm freaking out right now. This is crazy. <laughs> the fuck? This is crazy. I feel fat as fuck because I just chugged all that water. Do I look you wanna, fat? No, you, wanna, you don't look fat, but you if don't. you want to push the cover up, I don't, whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just asking if I look like I'm pregnant. Don't no, you. I look like I'm pregnant. That's why I put a hoodie on. <laughs> I just had a burrito. I look like I'm pregnant. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Turn On Podcast. Here for another episode. We got a smoking hot guest in the house. Uh, she's been a little MIA, but now she's here. Luke, give a proper introduction of your smoking hot new friend. Mackenzie Mace. My name is Mackenzie Mace. First podcast. First podcast, not going to lie. It makes scale, me a little nervous. Scale one to ten. How freaked out are you? Like, like I don't know, nine. Like a nine. I don't like phone calls, so like this, well, this, this is, like is weird. In, this is like an in-person phone call. Right. This is like, yeah. You feel like you're kind of... feel like I'm on the spot. Under the spotlight. Yeah. Doing <laughs> your questions. Yeah. But porn doesn't make you nervous? No. No. Do you take dick, stranger dick? Every day. Stranger dick? Yeah, like stranger dick. You've never fucked this guy, this male talent, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm, sometimes, yeah. Yeah? What male talent? You're super comfortable doing that. Yeah, yeah. What male talent has ever made you the most nervous on set? Well, when I was new. Like, it, I don't think it's about the talent. It was just how new I am. So now you're a pro. Yeah, now I don't get nervous at all. I get excited. I'm excited to meet new people. I don't know why I'm nervous about this. I couldn't tell you why. Do you so get, like, if it's like I a... have general anxiety as it is. So, like... So, okay, <laughs> okay. So, how long have you been in the industry? Um, over four years now. Shoot, nice. Did you come up with your own stage name? Um, yeah. So, actually, I didn't think I was gonna stay in the industry. I was just playing. Am I supposed to look at you or look at the camera? Look at Ryan. You okay. can look, 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 look wherever you want. want. You look at the ceiling yeah. fan. Whatever you want. Okay, so. Uh, I was just going to do... <laughs> she looked at the no, ceiling fan. She looked up there. Started continuing the conversation. Um, so, well, so I can think about it. So I started the industry. I um, was just going to do three scenes. I didn't really think it really? through. Like, I didn't, like... I was young, and it was just an opportunity so quick. I was like, yeah, sure. And he was the guy who got me in the industry was like, no, 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 no. This is legit. Like, you need to think about this. Like, give me, like... Take two weeks and think about it. I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I was going to do three scenes and then just leave. So I picked my name because I was in, like, I cut ties with my real grandfather. Mm -hmm. And his daughter's name is Mackenzie. So I named myself Mackenzie out of spite of my grandfather. So if he ever saw his granddaughter getting fucked on camera, it'd be his daughter's name. Wow. That's why I chose it. And then I just didn't really know about a last name, so we scrolled and Mace fit. Yeah. So I just thought I'd do three scenes and that was it. So I didn't like put too much thought into it. And then you just fell in love with it. And I did. Yeah. Go. I was like, this was like really fun and like, I like this shit. What's a, what's your favorite type of scene? You like doing scripts or more like Gonzo? No way. She likes doing scripts. If she's, did you get nervous if you're doing a script? Do you get nervous of like the acting part too? No, no, no. I love those. Like, I love really? those because they're fun. I like costumes, and then it's just fun. Like, it's like I like to pretend to be like an actress. You know. You think you're a good actor? I don't know if I'm a good at it, but I have fun <laughs> doing it. <laughs> they say porn people suck at acting, so I just you know some people. I are like good, to though. do it. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. Yeah, some people are are good. Like, I think Oliver Flynn is really good on camera. I don't know if yeah. you've ever seen 
can't even show I don't that. watch enough porn. I haven't even seen all my scenes. I just, I'm talking like trailers. So I just see trailers. Yeah, think. well, yeah, but they shoot for like really good companies and stuff yeah. too. Like, you know, like a you lot guys, of times. You guys, your films will come out and then like Riley tells me this shit all the time where like you guys will hit us up and be like, hey, did you see my new scene? I'm like, no. I didn't fucking I didn't see anything. Well, yeah. why not? <laughs> I Jacked off get, to it last night. You were fantastic in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm also the really busy. Like, like, I've been so busy making new content since I've gotten back into it. Every single day. Like, I don't think I've had a day off in weeks. I've been going to the gym. Wow. And then content, content, content. Shoot, shoot. Content, content, content. Maybe one day off. Wow. Get sick. Are you doing more, like, pro bookings or, like, content? Um, Half and half right now, I guess. I guess more content right now. Just waiting for bookings to come. That's cool. I guess. I did a team skeet. I did... Um, what was the other one I did? RK. Nice. Reality Kings. That was fun. That was at a um, diner. So that was kind of cool. Wild. I like that stuff where you're like at like... You know, when they like, rent out the place? Yeah, well, yeah. like, yeah, when it's like more of a scene, like a script. Like I was a waitress with a mop and like Ooh. at a real diner. It's like more, it just makes more of a fun day than like you come to a bed. And yeah, no, I, just, get you know, I get it. I get it. It's like the whole acting thing. Like, yeah, it's like about. you're like a fake little actress, a mattress actress, you know? <laughs> <laughs> mattress actress. I like it. I love it. Um, personal life. Do you Can go out at water? Yeah. Do you go out at all? Do people want. ever recognize you since you've been in for four okay, years? Okay, so yeah, actually. Um, the first time was strange because I had just entered the industry. So I was 18 years old and I was in California for the first time. And then I got a DM saying, oh my God, I just saw you at the mall. And I thought mm. that was crazy because it, I had only been in the industry for like a few months, you know? And then um, I was at the park the other day and I got an OnlyFans guy that goes, oh, I just saw you at the park. And That's I was like, weird. That's so weird. I was like, I know. I was like, I didn't know how to feel about that. And he was trying to give me his number. I was like, and the place where I go at the park, it's a public area. And I'm like, just come up and say hi to me next time I'm there because it's very public. There's a lot of people there. You know, like, yeah, I didn't know how to feel about that. I'm like, if and then like when I went to like jail, whatever, I like, Everyone's like, you look so familiar. Like, I know you from somewhere. <laughs> Have you been here before? Where do you live? I know you from somewhere. Like I'm the other girls? Your face. Yes, yes, yeah. And I'm like, hmm, I don't wow, know. Wow, that's great. If there's anything I've learned, like, because I live with two two stars, is that anytime we go out, uh, they know me. I always love to, like, fucking tag oh, everybody I have a good and everything. Story too. But they're always like, yo, Ryan, don't fucking tag us that we're here until, like, we get in our car and go home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, uh, like, a couple days ago, I had to go to the Apple store because I just made fire content on a jet ski, but I ruined my phone doing water damage, you know. Nice. So I had to go to the Apple store, blah, 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 and pick up my phone from evidence and, like, got my phone back. So um, I'm at the Apple store, and the guy who's helping me goes, I, so he peeped, like, that I had like a hussy model email and he peeped that I had like obviously like porn like on my um, desktop and he's like I actually know Riley I actually did it's the same guy the same that, did, <laughs> that we just ran did, into. Did, did a thing for you Riley the, you went to the Galleria um the Apple store in Miami no, no Miami the Apple store in Miami Not the Boca Mall one no, I was near Miami. So. We went to maybe the, he got transferred. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he got transferred. Yeah. And so he, so he knew. Um, so he was like, I, yeah, I actually know Riley. I actually did something for him. I was like, what did you do? See him fuck? Like, what did you do? He didn't really answer me because his boss was around. It was for sure him. But come to find out. So I get home. I get a DM and it's him. Wow. And then I scroll and it's a DM request in my um, um, IG. And actually in 2019, he swiped up on something. So he's actually been a fan for years, and he helped me at the Apple Store. Wow. So that's it's, kind of funny. It sounds like we ran it. We went to go yeah. buy some phones, and this guy, I don't know how the conversation came up. I think you we were had, wearing uh, a Pornhub some, shirt yeah, or something. something. And he's like, Oh, I know Riley. And Same I was dude. Like, wow. And is I, he kind of like a, Is his name light skin? Does the name start with an E? No, no, he's a white guy. White guy, wow, no. Like I don't bald, know. kind no, of. Oh, no. Light skin. Yeah. No, it, our guy was like. He's like a photographer and like. Elena Bell is the only girl who's on his page. So he used to photographer her. Because, like, I saw, I looked at his Instagram. Riley's a pretty popular dude, I feel like, <laughs> in Florida. I feel like a lot of people know him. But I thought it was even funnier, though, that when I got home and he DM'd me, 
I know I peeped that he actually has been following me since 2019. So, he's a so he knew exactly who the fuck I was when I walked in. You know, he didn't say anything about that. But uh -huh. do you he, think? Do you think they like go through chicks' phones? I would wonder. They're, like they're allowed to. I oh, wonder. They're allowed to obviously, but like I don't know. Like if a hot girl walked in. Hey, my phone broke. Can you fix? Yeah, I come back in like okay, two hours. Okay, so I okay, so ready refresh. You know, like the know. water delivery service. No. no. Okay, well, Zever Hills like five gallon like water like jugs. You know, I get delivered to my house. Um, that guy, he like thought I was cute or whatever. Well, he has my phone number for like delivering water. Well, he hit me up and texted me like, "Hey, it, you know, blah blah blah," like trying to like holler at me. Like he only had my phone number because like of the account like yeah. you're not supposed to do that so you get hit on a lot i guess by customers who have my number because they're my because <laughs> i'm their client well the apple store guy and then now this guy well the apple store guy at least was like respectful and not hitting on me but new but he was a fan since 2019 which was like crazy was, that's like, cool though what, what are the odds you that's know cool to get like noticed though i think that's that's cool i do too and like when people tell me like Oh my God, I feel like I'm on Sex Panther a lot. Oh my God, it's so cool that I'm actually talking to you. Like you're my favorite porn star or I've been a fan for so long. Like it makes me feel so good because I don't feel like that, yeah. you know? I just uh, feel like I've been chilling. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, I think it's cool to get recognized. I mean, the more that I keep doing this podcast, I, like a little bit here and there, I go out clubbing a lot and there's always like one or two people that are like, oh, it's in your podcast on TikTok or right. on Instagram. And I'm like, cool. Right. I uh, get you look familiar a lot, but I used to get that when I was a kid too, though. Yeah. So I might just have a familiar <laughs> looking face. Everyone kind of looks like someone, I think. I mean, I'm all people. <laughs> so let's try to dig into uh, your kinkier side. Okay. Do you have any fetishes? Yeah. I mean, I think bondage is hot. Yeah. Yeah. You like just getting tied up and... Yeah, like, I think it's hot. Like, I've done some bondage scenes that are just... It's erotic. Like, it's hot. It's sexy. Like, there was a suspension one that I did. And there was, like, actually no sex. There was BJ. But it was more about just being naked and tied up and, and like, the bondage part itself. I don't know. It's kind of like an art. Dang. I saw so. someone the other day getting hung... But I was like suspended the by the ceiling and it was wrapped around my neck, which was like neat, but it had no like pressure or anything like that. Like I was like my weight was being held by my back or legs or something. But the way it like was like I was suspended from the ceiling, I thought looked like really cool. And then I had a spreader bar and it made me horny as fuck. Because oh, that's that thing from 365. Like the spreader bar where like your legs you have to stay if, spread. Oh, that's hot, yeah. And yeah, the, it's really yeah, that, hot. And so your hot. legs are spread and well, like, so you're actually more like, you know, like that. And your legs are spread and you're suspended uh -huh. from the ceiling. <laughs> and- You have a nice ass. She has a crazy ass. I kind you of just like that. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I've been working on it. But no, the bar that I'm talking, there's a movie I watched the other day, 365. Netflix and it's a spreader bar, but if she moves her legs, it opens up even more. Oh, so oh, that's so cool. It's like she's fucked. Yeah, way. that's cool. it's like one of those Chinese finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The farther, like when you pull apart, it gets tighter. Yeah, that's so cool. So when you're like any person, like personal life, Bumble, Hinge, or like a fuck buddy that you have, is all your sex always turn into having BDSM in it? No, no, no. They I was in a long-term relationship. Yep. And we liked rough sex together. We liked all kinds of sex together. Our sex was so good. I mean, whatever it was, it was awesome. We had such good chemistry. But we're not um, together currently. Um, so I haven't really been having normal personal sex. So, like, sex. when you go and film your content with, like, whoever, are you... Um, well, I just started doing that again. So I only have a handful uh, let's see, I I just did my first squirting scene. Nice. I can't squirt on my own, but Maximo Garcia can make me squirt. So did that. I mean, I like anal. Um, like, I like it rough. I like it sensual. Say that one more time and look in Luke's eyes that you really like what? <laughs> I like anal. Why you like anal? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Well, okay. His <laughs> fucking face just lit up. As soon it's as so it's hard to find girls. That like, actually like that it. like anal. The hardest that part take, about like, a anal. Big dick up there. See, that's what sucks. The hardest part about anal is the like I'll have <coughs> issues 
cleaning <coughs> out. Like, it won't be spraying clean. Like, if I have anal in my personal life and I don't clean out, no issues. It's so clean. But if it's like I do all the right steps for an anal scene, I'm, like, not spraying clean. And my and my asshole's ready for it. Like, it wants, like, it could take a big dick. It Ooh, can take it for I as long that. as possible. <laughs> but, of course, it's almost like it's, like, in my head. It's like I get nervous or something or yeah, I overthink it. it. Well, it's just the cleaning out part, you know what I mean? But it's, like, yeah, weird but... because if if I have sex in my personal life and I don't clean out, I don't even have an issue. Like You, you know, know the me? risks when you're going in there and what could happen. If I could just perfect... And if you freak out if that does happen, then, like, you shouldn't be doing it from a guy's perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're saying in your personal life, you there's times where you haven't cleaned out and it, was, it went great? Yeah, Yeah, but for it's sure. also, like, a little average penis. Unless no, it's not, I mean, okay. it's sorry, not sorry. porn dick. Sorry. It's <laughs> not a little average penis. Not a, and I'm actually it's an talking average two penis. exes ago. I'm talking two exes ago. Like My last ex wasn't really into anal. He didn't really care for it. He would do it with... So I like anal. So when I'd come home from an, an anal scene, I'm like, fuck me in the ass. Like, I'm clean and stuff, you know? And so he would, but we wouldn't really do it in our personal life because he wasn't really into it. Yeah, I feel like I've been lucky in my personal life of the times that we've just like done anal and she didn't like clean or nothing. And I was like, this is great. Like didn't have to. Yeah. And it's clean, man. Worry about, yeah, Sometimes, anything. yeah. I've only exactly. ever done it with one of my girlfriends. She let me take like the, the anal virginity and it was like super clean. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like but it's... it really d- depends what you guys ate that day. That right? If I could just perfect, perfect, like the perfect meal before your anal scene, then I'd be like an anal queen. But right now I'm still trying to perfect that part. Because like my asshole can take it. It's just like I'm working on the inside. That's another thing I don't really shoot that much because then I got to like, unless the girl asked me to do it, because then I got to be like, yo, you also mind not eating for like 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel bad. All right, I went on a date the other night. This was like fucking maybe a month ago. And we go out and mid Mid dinner, she's like, "You want to put it in my ass tonight?" And I was like, "If you stop eating that burger." <laughs> and she's like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "What do you mean? What do I mean? You can't fucking eat that and then go but do that." But she already ate half of it. I know. So then we're cuddling. <laughs> we're cuddling yeah, on her couch. We're oh. cuddling on her couch. I'm fucking spooning her like whatever, like this. And she's right here, and she farts, <laughs> and it rumbles on my leg. Like, just and the fart? J- like it, or a shart? It's probably a shart. How many it, dates like, is this into? One day. This was, this, oh, this, I'm this, not, was, this no, was the whole no, fucking day. This, Farts this on my leg, not. looks back at me, and she goes, I'm just going to go to the bathroom, and then you can <laughs> stick it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I leaned in, and I said, I think I'm going to go home now. Really? Yep. Oh, you and probably just... made it feel so bad. Fuck yeah. Bro, you I had a sure first date, so bad. tell me about this, though. So, okay, I have a worse first date story. Fucking, um... Now every time I see her at the strip club, it's awkward. <laughs> I meet this oh, guy... Oh, you gotta point her out to me. <laughs> I meet this guy on Tinder, right? And I'm only 17. I'm working at Twin Peaks. I have him meet me at my restaurant, public place, because I meet him at Tinder. He's only 19. I'm 17. Um... And so he meets me, blah, blah, blah. That, so we meet, and then we, like, smoke a blunt, and then that was it. So I say, come over to, so we have, like, a timeshare. My family did during the summer for two weeks in Pompano because we used to live in Tennessee. So it's kind of funny because it's, like, not a vacation, but we still have it. So anyway, I was like, come through. My family's here. It's, like, right on the beach and stuff. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to see the full podcast, link is in the description. Head to the OF and everything is uncensored. The podcast and the hookup. I will see y'all next week.